There is nothing quite like spending time in nature taking photos. There's so much to see and it can be incredibly tranquil and rewarding. Whether it's the stunning vistas, wild animals or miniature details, you can capture some amazing images when in the great outdoors. However, having the right equipment is vital to a successful nature photography shoot. We've listed down the top 5 best beginner cameras for nature photography and their key features. Number 5. Nikon D5300 Starting off this list is a fairly affordable camera. The Nikon D5300 is a great beginner-friendly option for wildlife shooting. Equipped with a 24.2 megapixel sensor, it is able to capture detail and provide good results even in low-light conditions. Its 39 autofocus points as well as a tracking feature follow your subject with accuracy and speed. However, there is a drawback. The camera can only shoot at a rate of 5 frames per second, which means that shots of fast wildlife may turn out blurry. In terms of suitable for low-light photography, the D5300 offers a core ISO range that can be boosted from ISO 12800 to a setting equivalent of ISO 25600, while Full HD video recording with stereo sound recording should be more than capable for everyday use. The D5300 has unique connectivity features to make up for that. The SnapBridge technology keeps a constant and automatic Bluetooth connection between your camera and another device, such as your phone. Thus, you can easily transfer photos. This does drain the battery, but not enough to disrupt the 600-shot battery life. Another plus is the camera's light weight of about one pound. These two specifications make it easy to carry around, letting you enjoy the photo shoot to the fullest. 4. Sony a7 III When combining value and performance, the Sony a7 III is easily the best full-frame mirrorless camera on the market. Its speed, autofocus, dynamic range, and image and video quality are simply fantastic. The a7 III's 24-megapixel sensor has a full 15 stops of dynamic range and an ISO range of 100 to 51,200 expandable to 50 to 204,800. This makes it one of the best low-light cameras available. With 693 phase detection points and 425 contrast detection areas, the Sony a7-3's lightning-fast hybrid autofocus system rockets past all of the top DSLRs. The autofocus also excels during continuous shooting mode, keeping the subject in focus even at 10 frames per second. Frankly, you'll be amazed at how easy it is to get great images with this camera. It's fast, fun, and simply a joy to use. In the video world, the Sony a7-3's 4K video footage comes out impressively detailed, even with the frame rates up to 30 frames per second. At 24 frames per second, the Sony a7-3 uses oversampled 6K video to downsize to 4K with no crop. Add to that the low light performance and ISO range, and you get beautiful footage every time. There are also plenty of video capture features, including HLG and log footage, slow motion capture, and zebra warnings for exposure and focus peaking. The headphone and mic jacks are a nice touch as well. If you're a handled shooter, you'll be pleased to note that the a7 III has excellent 5-axis sensor shift image in-body stabilization that works as well in the field as the specs claim. It makes shooting at night handheld a doable undertaking and allows you to take advantage of lower ISOs than you'd normally have to use. Still photos, video, studio, landscapes, action photography, long exposures, this camera is amazing no matter what use you put it to. Number 3. Canon EOS 5D Mark IV The 5D Mark IV is a superb camera. You can shoot almost anything you want with it. It has an improved sensor with higher resolution, 30.4 megapixels versus 22.3 megapixels. To back it up, it comes with the better image processing engine, Digic 6 Plus versus Digic 5 Plus in the older camera. It also gets a slight jump in the frame rate, which means you can now shoot at 7 frames per second. It gives you those extra number of frames that you need for shooting wildlife photos. 
Higher resolution gives you the advantage of being lazy at times. Shoot wide and then crop later in the post. With the DCI 4K 30p capabilities, you can now pull even 8.8 .8 megapixel stills out of your 4K recording, just in case you're super lazy. That said, the resolution would not be great for large prints or capturing a lot of detail. As a wildlife shooter, you would love the 61 phase detection autofocus points, all of which are sensitive down to f8. Think about the long lenses and with teleconverters that can squeeze the maximum aperture, and 41 of them being cross-type. Most birds and small animals prefer to stay within their natural habitat perched in trees or thick foliage. The center autofocus point with its sensitivity down to negative 3 EV will help you lock focus on such occasions. Number 2. Canon EOS Rebel T7i. One of our favorite mid-range DSLRs is the Canon Rebel T7i, also known as the 800D. It does everything you could want from a nature photography point of view, with a strong 24 megapixel sensor, great live view performance, and excellent dynamic range. It really is the complete package and has everything we've talked about so far. This camera won't let you down and it would be our number one recommendation for those who can afford it. The Canon EOS T7i is the latest addition to the Rebel lineup and it came out to replace the T6i. In a market segment that has never been more crowded, building a well-balanced camera for casual photographers and beginners is not as easy as it used to be. Yet Canon has pulled it off again with the T7i. Much like its predecessors, this is an honest camera. You know you're not getting top-notch specs or a build quality that gives you confidence to throw it around, but it's also obvious that image quality is very good for a camera in this price range. The entire Rebel series has a tradition of providing excellent price-to-quality ratios and this is no exception. At the heart of the T7i is a 24-megapixel APS-C sensor that works together with the Digic 7 image processor. One of the most interesting features of the T7i is its autofocus system. All of its 45 points are horizontally and vertically sensitive. This makes it easy to work with the camera when shooting through the viewfinder as well as when using the LCD. Even so, this has been labeled by many as the best Rebel yet and we must admit that you do get a lot for the money. We highly recommend it to beginners and occasional photographers who want great image quality without breaking the bank. Number 1. Sony Alpha A6000 The Sony A6000 shows that many of the most important things we look for in a camera haven't changed. Its 24 megapixel sensor is as competitive today as it was when this camera was launched. Its 11 frames per second burst mode is rarely better, even now, and while Sony has steadily improved the autofocus system in its A6000 cameras, the A6000 is already very good, perhaps as good as most of us need. The A6000 is equipped with a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor, which was state-of-the-art when this camera was launched back in 2014, and only a couple of APS-C cameras improve on this even now. The image sensor has 179 phase detection autofocus points. There are also 25 contrast detection autofocus points for the hybrid autofocusing system. At the time of launch, Sony claimed that the camera had the fastest autofocus in the world among cameras with an APS-C size sensor. And while a few cameras have improved on this since then, it still feels extremely responsive, even by today's standards. On the back of the A6000 is a tiltable LCD screen which is joined by an electronic viewfinder. The same 0.39 inch, 1.4 million dot device found on the first edition RX10 Premium Bridge camera. Reflecting the broader trend, the A6000 comes complete with built-in Wi-Fi and NFC. Sony has produced some of the most interesting compact system cameras currently on the market, many of them in the A6000 series that the A6000 started off. Even by current standards, the A6000 is a great performer. Its images are very sharp with beautifully saturated